I'm DJ Schurz. I'm Professor E. This is AdventureBot. And this is the robot program. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to put together your AdventureBot. So let's go to the studio and see how it's done. OK, DJ, how do we get started? To get started, we're going to need your computer. We're going to install Easy Builder. Load up your web browser. Visit www.easy-robot.com. Click on the software menu item. Locate Download Easy Builder. Select it, and it'll download. Click on the file that's been downloaded, and it's going to load up the installer. Select Next. Choose Typical as the install type. Choose the Installed button. Now select Finish and Easy Builder will load. This is the same as the Getting Started Guide we found inside of the box. You can walk through it. In fact, it's going to force you to walk through it. You have to go all the way to the end. And then choose that you agree to these terms and select OK. Now enter the password to the Easy Robot website. and choose Save. And if you don't have an account, you can also create a new account right from that window. Your email and password will be verified, and you're presented with Get Enrolled with the Easy Robot School. However, we're not going to go to the school. Instead, we're going to push the Skip button. Choose Example Projects from the menu, and select AdventureBot. It's a new installation to Easy Builder, you need to download the files to your computer for the building process. This window is prompting you to do so. Select Sync, and the computer will go to the internet, download the files it needs so it can present you with the 3D instructions to put the robot together. Great, so we'll have all the designs then. You bet. You're next prompted with a box that says, do you want to see how to put the robot together? Open assembly instructions, choose yes. Select the next button, we can begin our building, building process. So why don't you pass me the first part? It says here we need the Dajicon body. Body first. Body first. Now, as you can see, it's asking us to also, in here, connect the EZB to it. So we want to put the EZB inside of the body. So let's start there. OK, so controller to the Dodecacon. You bet. You'll see that there's a power plug here and a power plug there. And here's the speaker output of the EZB. And we'll want to connect the two together and gently push it in, and now it's locked in place. Perfect. We'll set that down, and we will push the next button. And it wants us to connect a cube to the bottom of the controller. So I want to put that down here. OK, first cube. That's right. Now, to get a good idea to make sure we built this right, we can use these view buttons to look at how we have the controller laid out to make sure that we get it in the right place. It looks like we're going to want to put it this way. And this is going to want to go there, because you can see that we have the switch on that side. So we'll push this in place. Now it's a little bit tight to squeeze in, so just rock it in place until it fits. Now we will push Next. Oh, it wants the hexapod foot. That's the peg. Why don't you pass me the peg? OK, so this is going to act like a balance for his motion. So we'll slide that in. Next. Oh, another cube in the front. And it looks like it's going to be put in this way. And there it's in place. We'll push next. Oh, another cube. We'll put this on this side here. And another cube. And we'll put another one here. Next. Oh, now we're at the wheels. So we need one of our continuous rotation servos. And this one looks like it goes right here. There we go. And it asks us, you can see here, 
Oh, I think we actually want it right good on the top. Point. Yeah. Okay. So Emily showed that we were supposed to pay attention to the instructions, and I put this on backwards. So it's supposed to go this way. There we go. Now I can flip this around, and this connects to port D0. So you can see here that the first port is labeled D0, D1, etc. You can also consult the Getting Started Guide. You can see here D0 is the first one, D1, etc. So we're going to want to plug this one into D0. I'll put this here for future reference. Now you notice how I'm connecting the plug. So the black wire of the plug is lining up with the black on the controller. You're going to want to make sure that all of the connectors line up that way. AdventureBot uses male to female connections, which means we have one side that's got holes and one side has pins. And when we put them together, we have a nice strong connection. We'll push next. Bet you can guess what comes next is another wheel. Another servo, okay. And again, so that I don't follow the wrong instructions. That's right, so white at the way. top. White at the top. And position it in. And again, this one connects to port D1. So we know that is going to be right after D0. Be right there. I want to make sure our black is lined up. Push next again. It wants us to put the dome on. However, we do know that we're going to want to put the camera on top of the dome. That's so right. So let's do the camera plugged into here first. You'll figure this out if you're doing it on your own, because if you click next again, it'll say connect the camera. But then you'll say, well, how do I connect it to the dome? So this is a little bit of a cheat we're doing right now. So the camera can only plug into one place on here. And that one place is right here. And it can only go one way as well. Now lay that out the back. And we'll push next where it tells us to put on the camera. Okay, so dome first. You bet. Move these over. And we can put the dome on. Now, do we care where the wires come out from underneath the dome? We don't care where the wires come out yet, because what we're going to first do is we're going to put this thing together. There we go. Clip all those in. It's pressure fit. And then you can see here that the camera will just slide onto the dome like so. Now, wire wrap. Wire wrap, my favorite part of robot building. You bet. You can see here we have wires that are just hanging out here like spaghetti. What we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the dome just by squeezing it and pulling it apart. And now we're only going to need one wire wrap, not both, because we're going to wrap these two wires together so that they're all cleaned up. And we're going to start from the base here. This wire wrap, if you twist it, separates. We're going to start here and just wrap around. There. So that cleans up our wires considerably. So we can connect this back on top. And there we go. Nice and tidy. Now that your adventure bot is built, you can go back to your software and we can click on these buttons to view what the robot looks like in 3D and compare it against what we've just built. When we're finally done, push next and select close. In the next episode, we'll teach you how to connect to the robot and control them. But remember, charge your battery before the next episode so you have a fully freshed recharged battery to start playing with your robot. <laughs>
Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.